Yeah. Yes, guys, it's guys. I'm going to say welcome back to another video. Today, we're off to see Watford again, but this time they're playing at home and they're playing against Palace. I think it's going to be a good game today, and I think it's going to be 2 1 to Watford. I think Dennis will get two, and I think Elisa has gone absolute banger. I'm excited to see how he's going to play. Very highly rated by some, and also my mate who's a championship fan. But, Freddie, we've got Freddie here again. Watford, we're, we're like Watford Ultras now. We go to every game. Watford Ultras, yeah. I reckon 2 1 to I reckon. <laughs> Dennis will get two. Yeah. And I reckon it's a half. I think it's be a good game. Up. So you pretty much copy me with Dennis the goal and the scoreline, but you just changed the Crystal Palace scoreline. I think we got about half an hour to kick off, so we'll see that. Just getting a little bit of food before. I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything. Here we go. A little Donna Box and Fries. Perfect. Vicarage Road, we meet again. Palace start with a frontier, Mateta, Lee Zaha tonight. Well, Watford are unchanged. This should be good. As I said, I'm predicting 2 1 Watford. Here we go. Come on, on. Both teams out here now, let's hope for a good game. Come on, Watford. 12, welcome back to Will Hughes. 14, John Philip Mateta. Number one, Ben Foster. Dean Craig Cathcart. 23, Ishmael Assar. 25, Emmanuel Dennis. During the early to mid 1960s, and he was no mean goal scorer, too. He scored 60 times at 178 appearances for our club. Total respect. We're underway here at Vicarage Road where Watford are playing Palace. Come on, Watford. Watford fans in loud voice after their big winning against Villa on the weekend. <laughs> Penalty shot there for Palace, but the ref actually awards it offside. Yeah. It's Carlos Sar here. He's in the box. No one there. Good chance for Watford. Out for a corner. <laughs> Ooh, interesting by Jack Butlin. John Philippe Matessa makes it 1 0 to Palace here. Very deflected goal. It goes in, and what they actually started all right as well. Unfortunately, I, I did warn my mate about Matessa before the game, and he's delivered 1 0 Palace. levels it up he runs to the bench in celebration i think he goes to celebrate with his subs or something absolutely mental and it's one all great header bullet header i think it was in a dennis corner and the moose as his soko header great goal one all what a chance for watford emmanuel dennis with a header off this is soko's cross watford definitely on top here half an hour in here watford definitely on top against palace Dennis is their danger man. Every time Watford, King, Sissoko get the ball in general, they look for Dennis and he's providing the biggest threat for Watford at the moment. Sissoko is also playing well for his goal and King's linking up well and so is so. Watford on top. Palace now, Connor Gallagher, Crystal Palace's danger man, haunts Watford. Watford failed to deal with it really badly defensively. And Connor Gallagher takes the touch and slots it home in the top left hand corner. Only about three minutes left to half time now, and Crystal Palace now winning 2 1. Palace took the lead originally due to a Mateta deflected shot. Watford reacted with a good header by Musa Soko from a corner with an assist from Femenia. And then Crystal Palace regained the lead over a Conor Gallagher goal. Watford just haven't really put the pressure on up front. They need to, they need to continue this. Where is all their fight gone, which was that the Villa away game? It's all gone. Crystal Palace fighting the hardest there. I think this game will end, however. 3-2 to Crystal Palace. I think they might nick. I think Elise will score, but Dennis will regain one to two all. But I think Elise will make Crystal Palace go on and win the game. I'll see you guys in the second half. We're on the way for the second half here at Watford v Palace. Come on, Watford. Tell your appreciation for number seven, Joshua King. And replacing him, number 29, Kucho Hernandez. Great decision, my Roy. Chance for John Philippe Matessa. He goes through, tries to find Elise, but just simply can't find him. Still remains 
3 1 here to Palace. 60 minutes in here. Palace having all the ball. Watford lack any intensity whatsoever. They look like they're rushing it every time. Benford's just turned them all to calm down with it. They really do if they want to get back into this game. Still 2 1 Palace. Half an hour to go. What a chance for Watford if they're on goal. And so, oh, he's hit over. Jordan are you on for Elise here. And cleverly, he's also on for Kayemba. Placing number 12, Will Hughes. James Will Hughes is off for Crystal Palace due to a warm applause and a bit cold as well. James McLeod comes on to replace him. Game over now. Crystal Palace make it 3 1. Zaha scores to ruin the game for Watford. Palace fans go mental, all defending, and that's 3 1. What a goal by Wolf Zahar. It's 4 1 Palace now. Great finish, and that's a demolition goal. Game fully over. Edward's on here for Matessa as the game comes to a close in Palace. They were just too good for Watford today. Thank you very much for your support, Saint Journey Hunt. Go Fair play is Soko, the only player clapping all the way around the stadium. Pass that from him. Right guys, full time here at Victory Road. It finishes 4-1 to Palace. Zaha proved too good for Watford in the end, really. So yeah, guys, stay tuned to the channel for the next vlog. I'll be back very soon. As I said, Palace were just way too good for Watford today. Didn't really show the fight they did at Biddle away in my last video. I'll link that down below if you haven't checked it out already. But yeah, guys, I'll be back soon with another video. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new, follow all my social medias, and I'll be back soon with another video. But until then, see you next time.